The Tesla Megapack battery has emerged as a standout performer within the company's portfolio. During the Q4 and full-year 2023 earnings call, Tesla executives emphasized that the growth of Tesla's energy storage business is projected to outpace that of its automotive division this year. This growth trajectory is largely attributed to the success of the Megapack battery, Tesla's flagship energy storage product. Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of Tesla News. Subscribe for more. Let's get into the video. Designed for grid-scale projects, the Tesla Megapack is the company's largest energy storage system, offered in two configurations, a two-hour version providing 1.9 MW of power and 3.9 MWH of energy, and a four-hour variant delivering 1 MW of power and 3.9 MWH of energy. The Megapack has demonstrated significant success being deployed in notable projects such as the 182MW730 MWH installation in Moss Landing, California, and the 150MW300 MWH system in New South Wales, Australia. Pricing for the Megapack varies depending on installation charges. The two-hour variant is priced at $2,081,060 with installation charges included, while the four-hour variant costs $1,018,65,370. Without installation charges, the two-hour Megapack is priced at one ton BU2 who dances in 78880-60, and the four-hour variant at one two Nedaton 27 now 90 years. Tesla estimates an annual maintenance cost of $18 and in $30 for the Megapack, with a 2% annual increase in cost. Currently, the Tesla Megapack is primarily manufactured at the Lathrop Mega Factory in California, with plans for another Mega Factory to be constructed in Shanghai this year. Recent drone flyovers conducted by Tesla watcher Met God in Wilderness revealed that the Lathrop Mega Factory is actively producing grid scale batteries at scale. During the flyover, a total of 326 Tesla Mega Packs were observed on the premises, estimated to be worth over 500 million. Given the Mega Pack's design for easy transport and installation, many of these batteries are expected to be delivered within the current quarter. Tesla Energy experienced significant milestones in the past year with deployments witnessing a remarkable 125% increase compared to 2022. According to Tesla CFO Vibhav Taneja, the company's energy storage business also saw a rise in revenue. Taneja noted during the earnings call that the energy storage business is positioned to surpass the automotive division in terms of growth rate in 2024, reflecting the strategic groundwork laid by Tesla in building the mega factory in Lathrop. Redwood Materials breaks ground on 3.5B South Carolina battery plant. Redwood Materials, a joint venture between Tesla and Panasonic, has commenced construction on a new $3.5 billion battery plant in South Carolina, marking the company's second major facility. The groundbreaking ceremony for the battery materials facility in South Carolina took place recently, as announced by Morgan Krabs, Director of Public Affairs and Government Relations at Redwood Materials, in a post on LinkedIn. Situated outside Charleston, the plant will focus on recycling, refining, and manufacturing anode and cathode components, mirroring the operations at the company's existing facility in Nevada. In her LinkedIn post, Kraps expressed enthusiasm for the project, stating, And we're off! Redwood Materials has officially broken ground in South Carolina at our second battery materials campus. An exciting milestone as we move one step closer to closing the loop and creating a circular supply chain for battery materials here in North America. Initially slated to begin construction in the first quarter of 2023, the Battery Materials Campus will prioritize 100% electric operations and eliminate the use of fossil fuels in its processes, aligning with the sustainability goals of Redwood Materials. Yates Construction has been selected to manage the project, with opportunities for subcontractors to participate. Redwood Materials is dedicated to establishing a circular battery economy by utilizing recycled battery materials to produce components for electric vehicle EV, batteries. In a recent update, the company reported that it could recycle approximately 95% of metal materials from end-of-life EV battery packs. Moreover, Redwood Materials is expanding its operations with the construction of a cathode plant in Nevada, projected to support a capacity of over 1 million EVs annually. In addition to collaborations with Tesla and Panasonic, at Gigafactory Nevada, Redwood Materials has formed partnerships with leading automakers such as Toyota, 
Volkswagen, Volvo and Ford. Notably, J.B. Straubel, co-founder of Redwood Materials and a former executive at Tesla, played a pivotal role in the company's inception. Straubel, who served as Tesla's chief technology officer until 2019, joined the automaker's board of directors in the previous year, further solidifying the ties between Tesla and Redwood Materials. Tesla has initiated a software update for select Model S, X, and Y vehicles to address a backup camera issue, as outlined in a recall notice issued by the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, last week. The NHTSA detailed the problem in a recall letter on Tuesday, highlighting that certain Model S, X, and Y vehicles equipped with the Autopilot and Full Self-Driving FSD Computer Hardware 4 PO, HW4, were experiencing difficulties displaying a rear-view image while in reverse. The recall encompasses 199 Gear 5 and 75 vehicles from the 2023 model year, running software versions 2023-4430 to 2023-4430.6 according to the notice. Tesla promptly released a software update to address the issue, with the NHTSA scheduled to send owner notification letters on March 22nd. The recall is identified by the NHTSA as recall number 24V035, while Tesla's manufacturer recall number is SB24002. The report further indicates that Tesla introduced software update version 2023-4.100, one earlier this month after evaluating the affected vehicle and software versions. This recall highlights ongoing discussions within the automotive industry regarding the terminology used for issues that can be resolved through over-the-air OTA software updates. Many Tesla and electric vehicle EV owners have criticized the term recall for such cases, emphasizing the immediate resolution provided by OTA updates without requiring physical service from the OEM. Notably, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously voiced his opinion on the matter, describing the term recall as outdated and inaccurate when referring to software updates. Musk argued that many of these issues have not resulted in injuries and advocated for redefining terminology to reflect the nature of OTA fixes accurately. Despite ongoing criticism, the NHTSA currently classifies these issues as recalls, regardless of whether they necessitate physical servicing. As the industry moves towards offering software updates for vehicle maintenance, discussions persist regarding the development of new terminology to accurately characterize issues resolved through OTA updates. As of the latest update, neither the NHTSA nor the Department of Transportation has responded. To request for comment on potential changes to recall terminology, underscoring the ongoing dialogue surrounding this topic. Subscribe for more Tesla news. This is Tesla Global, the home of the latest and greatest Tesla and EV market news. If you want to support the channel by going the extra mile, why not become a member? Press the join button to find out more. See you in the next video.